So, of course, this documentary is entitled You Think You Grown, a phrase us black girls have heard from the beginning of time. When you hear that phrase, what is the first thing that comes to mind? <sighs> when I hear that phrase, I think of the many times I was in grown folks' business. Don't wear that, you're too grown. Don't do that, you're too grown. Pretty much anytime you're doing anything outside of what people believe a child should be doing. The foundation laid towards the unique intersection of race and gender that black girls fall into dates back to the early 1800s. Our ancestors were enslaved laborers. They were forced to be laborers. So before they were women or men, they were tools. The effect of generations of institutional racism has created this collective psychology around Black children that makes them criminalized and considered as adults. It's interesting how a, a, a girl's body or a femme body turns into something like out of nowhere. It almost feels like out of nowhere, what I'm wearing is a big deal. They would tell me that I'm fast or I'm being grown just for understanding more than they want me to know. I've been told so many times that the way that I dress or the way that I talk or the way that I behave is as if I'm trying to get like men's attention or men's validation when really I was just wearing clothes, I was just talking, I was just existing. What follows them into adulthood is the insecurity of how I look versus who I am and how I feel. I've seen a lot of archetypes of black women on social media, on TikTok specifically. It's like you have to be a specific type of black woman and it yes. just never feels like it encompasses all black women. It's like, okay, well I love Afros, but this is enough, like just, just mm -hmm. this. We black women have a tendency to exhale excellence and best believe that this is only the beginning of all that you will leave. Do not let these people destroy the legacy that you will leave. That resilience, it is flows through your bloodstream and your heart's mind. It is within you, it is in your genealogy.